So you, as a you know, as a screenwriter now making your directorial debut with this character, you've had to write her journey in the weirdest order I think you could ever think of. <laughs> it's not even really back to front or front to back. It's just all over the place. Yes, yeah, I know. I don't know why I did that. Uh, how <laughs> how has that been, and how did that sort of incongruous approach influence where you ended up with this script? Did you learn things from her past you were able to bring into this? Point well, to things in the future. Right, right. I, you know, I, I, had, I, had, I felt like we had explored the backstory of Annabelle and, and, and sort of where she came from in, in creation. Uh, so I really thought about, well, what's the story that I can dig into here when was sort of approaching the, you know, the material and thinking about it just in, you know, that thirty thousand foot view. Uh, and but it brought me to Judy Warren and really digging into her character and what it must be like to be the daughter of Ed and Lorraine Warren. Um, and I thought having Annabelle be her foil as she sort of tries to embrace what her family does for a living mm -hmm. uh, would be a great uh, story to tell. How, how early on did you decide, or was it always a part of sort of the kernel of I the idea that you would go into the artifact room and play around with sort of everything? Yeah, that was very, I mean, that was, I think that might have been the first thing that uh -huh. James, you know, he approached me with, and what do you think of this? And I was like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it presents its own set of unique challenges, but to have the, 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 the haunted house be the Warren house, as opposed to them leaving and going to find or investigate a haunted house. It's actually all brought home, quite literally. Um, that was a really exciting, and, and I just saw all the opportunity and potential in that artifact room for creating different varied scares that we could explore and change up as we as we told the story. Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is in 1971, after the events of the first Conjuring. Yes, it's actually yeah. It's it's. Uh, the the first part of that movie picks up right where the conjuring start you know right where the conjuring that that when they're interviewing the nurses uh -huh. they bring the doll home and then we cut to yeah a year later the the events of the first conjuring have already happened with the Perone okay. investigation uh, yeah so 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 it's about a year later so the Warrens are starting to come on the people's radar out in the public uh, and, and and word is getting out the secrets getting out about what they do for a living was. That tricky to drop it in the middle of the mythology and have to work around other demons or artifacts that might have come and go, or was it natural since you've been with it for so long? No, it's always tricky. It's always challenging. We're in the mood, you know, that the Conjuring Two, you know, the the the, the house is established in Conjuring Two. Um, so I knew, well, I'm not going to burn it down. I knew, you know, there's things like that. Really, <laughs> right. I guess I can't do that. Uh, so you, so you do have to, you know, you have to pay attention to what comes later. Um, but you know, we're telling the story of, you know, the the the, the story. The, the, it's also one of the reasons I, I said it in over the course of one night too. You know, it's just, it's it's felt very self-contained um, story too. You know, so it doesn't feel like it goes, it, it doesn't unravel too much of what comes after or what came it, what came before. Great. Well, they are about to kick me out. I have one quick question <laughs> sure. for you. Of course, you also have it coming up this uh -huh. year. Everyone's very exciting, excited. Yeah, me too. What uh, What was your favorite part about getting to write the grown-up versions of those characters, having already worked with the child versions? Uh, well, it's just it was just great to revisit the character. I mean, we, we sort of got right into it writing those, but uh, you know, it's just always a joy, you know, to be able to adapt Stephen King and 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 use the book as a cheat sheet when you're writing the script is is always fantastic and you know one of my favorite parts of the experience as it was with the first one is also working with the Muschietis. Yeah. You know they're, they're great people, they're great brilliant minds and talents and uh, I just love, I just seem to thrive in a collaborative environment and they're you know they're just great teammates and, uh, and uh, yeah so that, that, that was really my favorite part.